Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on while you're there and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today I saw my psychiatrist and there's been a few changes. So I haven't really spoke about this on my channel but I've been really struggling with my anxiety and going out. I went to go out yesterday and I literally got to the front door and broke down crying because I couldn't go out. My anxiety just got too much, so I came back upstairs and went to bed. However, I did get out today, I went to the post office and I went to my psychiatrist appointment. So, yeah, let me put some fairy notes on. My psychiatrist appointment was interesting. So the big one that's important is because of how bad my anxiety has been, he has agreed to increase my clonazepam dose. I'm now on it midday, evening, night. So he's added in an extra dose. I'm still on 0 0.5 milligrams, but I'm on it three times a day now instead of twice a day. So hopefully that will help. I'm confident it will help because I used to be on clonazepam four times a day and that worked well. I've been on it three times a day before and it worked really well. I don't really know what's triggered my anxiety off recently. I haven't done anything different. I've been ordering everything in. I haven't been going out to get food. I've been ordering it on Just Eat. Or eating what they cook downstairs which is usually something I don't eat, so I don't always eat what they cook. But, yeah. Anxiety's been a bit of a bitch recently. Yeah. It sucks. I was so anxious getting on a bus today. I should have filmed it. I really should have, because it would have been a, a very good insight into what's been going on for me recently. But I just didn't think to take my camera with me and my phone memory is full, so... It is what it is. So moving on to the part you're probably all curious about, as you saw in the title, I've got a new diagnosis. So I'm, I'm no longer diagnosed bipolar. I'm diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder bipolar type. And... Basically what that means is I had a psychotic episode when I wasn't in an episode of depression or mania and that's happened four times now. Each time I've told my psychiatrist about it and I've been given medication to try and reduce that but I'm diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. So I'm going to do some research on this and then I'm going to make a future video on this because, well, I don't know that much about schizoaffective disorder so I can't really info dump you in this video. He had mentioned it on the phone and my care coordinator, my old care coordinator, had mentioned it on the phone as well. But, I don't know, it's a new diagnosis. It's been years since I received a new diagnosis. And what I hope is that now we've got a diagnosis, we can treat the, psycho the psychotic symptoms a bit better. He did offer me a lanzapine, which I declined because I've had such a bad experience with it in the past. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description down below. So yeah, a new diagnosis. Never know what to expect when it comes to these appointments. It's also really fucking hot today. And I'm wearing jeans and a, well, a white top. My bra's black though. I need a drink. Need me a drink. <laughs> Out of my healthy size bottle. I'm probably gonna ask Alana a bit about schizoaffective disorder because she's been diagnosed longer than me. So, Alana, if you're watching this, prepare for questions. If you don't know who Alana is, this is Alana. Her channel's linked on the iCard. 
and in the description down below please go check her out subscribe to her she's nearly at 3k subscribers which is amazing there go check her out so yeah that's what's going on with me it's currently what day is it today the 29th it is the 29th of july so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video peace